Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of FDL. Uh, this is a run without any sort of pausing whatsoever. Uh, so we're right now one person short in our on our masterful boarding boarding crew. So we're gonna go to repair and we're gonna have a look around, see if we can find someone interesting. Uh, is energy ship converted to military stuff? And he's gonna give me a bunch of parts here. And there's a ship here for me to board. Fortunately, a lot of ships in the sector are extremely difficult. I'm going to attempt to not risk activating and just get the scrap out of him instead. Uh, and let's go actually finalize this. That looks good. I'm liking the looks of the ship. Alright, so I'm thinking here just to kind of maximize my trying to find it find a store uh, although I just like bought like crap that I don't really want to holy shit what are these these are anti-personnel drones if I board the ship I'm dead so fuck that we're gonna charge to get the fuck out of here all right we done yeah we'll we'll maybe try up here and then we'll we'll chase after him because I'm still looking for that store. I'm hoping that maybe I'll find one. Just repair stations. Oh, whatever. There's no point anymore. We're good. Okay. It is time for the Rebel flagship. Our last one. Man, he's going to cloak. So, here's the thing. I absolutely have to kill their crew. There's absolutely no question about that. Let's go take out our minor inconveniences first. And we're going to cloak to evade these missiles. I, I know I only have two points inside my teleporter. And I know I sent the NG in. He's, he's going to tank for me. I figure fuck NGs. He, wa he wanted to be a part of this crew so bad. He knew what he signed up for. He's now part of the boarding crew, I don't care. Alright. Let's get these guys ready for another round inside that ship. We need we need zero distractions. I need to keep just this one up. Just so I absolutely fucking know that I, I will not get taken out by it. Like, like absolutely no damage. Cause my focus here is actually taking out the crew. And it's gonna it's gonna be hell. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now. Oh, uh, let's go retrieve these guys as soon as it's ready. So, cause there's there's a whole host of things that can go absolutely terribly wrong with this ship. Um, a good thing maybe to do is actually just to set a fire. We can try. We can we can start off by trying to do that. Actually, I'm actually up for that. Let's let's try and set some fires. Now, I, I don't think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and see if the fire by itself is can't be put out by them. Let's see, let's see the effect this has. Yeah, two people go into there. They're getting healed while they put it out, so it's not gonna be very effectual. We need to do a breach. Here's what I'm thinking. Okay. We set a bomb, a breach bomb in there. Okay. And we let them repair the hull breach per no actually why why let them repair that fuck it let's let's go let's just go all the way all in okay so he's going to cloak and we kill one guy and we kill at least two people or th maybe three Okay, I'm almost content. Okay, let's leave this the way it is. We killed most of their crew. Like, come on, cut me, cut, cut me some slack. We'll, we'll be, we'll be back. We'll be back. And we're doing our badass micro. Why am I? Why is my O2 fully powered? I, I think I've had that like since the beginning. So this is enough to to kill them with, because this kind of boarding crew is much better. And I like, I like having the NG here for distraction purposes. All right. Oh wait, they don't even care about this place. Okay. 
Well, guess what? Your the rest of your ship is mine. I guess we'll take out the. Uh, actually, no. Let's let's take it out with fire. And then we'll then we'll power up the heavy laser, and then we'll we'll be okay. Defense drone isn't that important. Uh, it would have been nice to have the anti ship drone though, but you know I I couldn't couldn't find a place for it. So okay, go firebomb. So this will take out their cloak and their doors, which is nice for me. And we'll just uh, target target that constantly with our heavy laser. This way, I'm taking down his cloak, and then like this, this is just gonna spread and cause damage. Cause I, I really don't have any interest in like attempting to, like they, they, he has the these heavy doors. Actually, you know what? What am I doing? There we go. Now, now we're free to move on the ship as much as we want, and we'll just get off the ship and prepare for our next uh, battle. It should be okay. Uh, maybe I should like continuously attack with this thing. And we got like a couple bars left and this guy's gonna continuously fire at us. So good, no distractions, we got him. Whew, all right. That was, that was, this is probably the more difficult part that I wasn't sure about is if we'd be able to take out uh, the first phase because the crew will not return. That was the last we will ever see of them. And so uh, we're okay, but we gotta keep up the assault. Uh, let's go see what kind of upgrades we can get ourselves. Let's get ourselves. In, I don't really need another point into power, to be honest. But you know, oh, there's a store here after all. Fuck, I probably didn't even need to go get that then. Uh, well, there's absolutely nothing here that I want. So, well, let's go fight the rebel flagship again. This a beam. The, the beam drum may have helped actually. Eh. Maybe I'll return for it, just for the shield phase. So get ready for a fight. All right, defense drone on. Beaming directly into that bay, and that means they're all split up very nicely. And I'm taking out his boarding drone, so he's running out. Uh, I don't really know what else to power. Oh, one got on. And we, we just wait for power surges. Luckily for us, this actually de works decently well, because uh, uh, now we go and take out this, actually. Let's hope this guy gets actually better at uh, this crap. And we'll cloak just to evade this. Even though I have four blocks of shields, it's very difficult for them to actually break through that. All right, everyone, as a team, Alpha Omega Tango team. Because that firebomb is actually no longer useful, so. What I really need is for them to uh, get really good at a, uh, oh wait, you know, they just use that ability again. Yeah, they're not breaking through that, you know? It's just basically the end of that. So we're just gonna take down the shields, and we're pretty much gonna call it up. Uh, we got to see how many jumps he is away, because he t he takes two turns to jump, and I take just one, and I can I can go to that store. And it looks like they're done here. So this way, uh, by keeping that guy alive, if you didn't know, um, it means the ship won't go into automated repair. If I kill him, the ship will automatically repair. So that's that that's why you don't see me killing it like ever. Total waste of time. So we're, we're, we're gonna bring both these guys over here. Cloak. Still not pausing. And get ready, get ready to retrieve. These guys didn't even take any damage to begin with. Okay, we're we're okay. Well, I guess you can go repair this. He's the master of everything. Combat and oh look at this, he's getting good at combat. <laughs> the best NG. The best NG the world has ever seen. Whatever, I guess I'll cloak. Okay, that's it for this phase. And he jumped away, and we have some scrap. So he's he's four things away, so I think we're okay. We can go and grab one more. 
can grab a beam drone. Fuck the firebomb. It's no longer that's no longer any use to us. Also, long range scanners are no longer any use to us, so I don't know what else I would get though. I think we're good. Alright, let's go chase after him. Uh, oh, okay. I thought he would be after us. So, uh, after this one, we're going to be able to catch up to him. So, you got to get worried because if he makes it to the end, the, the two jumps away, um, he will... Uh, then you lose. That's it. It's done. And he's got some sort of super weapon. Uh, and we're going to charge heavy laser. See, this is actually bringing down his shields much faster than I could. Okay. Uh, it's okay. It's like no damage. We're gonna send the crew into here. In just a second. There we go. And we're gonna cloak for this one because I think this will actually last long enough. Oh no, it didn't. And that's unfortunate. Okay. Alright, let's go get this crap here. Actually, no. Start breaking through that. And we'll cloak for this. Actually, no. There you go. We brought these guys back home. We're gonna wait for the teleporter to charge up. And I really want to bring these guys back onto that ship. And look at that. The, the two bars of oxygen kind of helped out. Because even though they hit us once. And so this one might actually be the Zoltan shield going back up. I'm thinking, because usually that's what happens. Oh, no, it's not. And I didn't actually need to cloak for that, even though I didn't have uh, the cloak up for that. I was like mashing the key. There you go, look at that. This guy can take it down fast. Downtown. And please don't be the Zoltan shield. And your Zoltan shield, okay. Well, that is why we kept these guys on this ship, uh, just because I like to live dangerously. That beam drone really helped, actually. That was a good idea on my part. For at least this phase. Alright, everyone off the ship. So nobody has to die today. And also, I should probably get another point back into the shields. And another point. Uh, another vo last volley from them, and it didn't work. We defeated them. What's it? Uh, viewer... So you survived. I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, and a whole bunch of other people we don't care about. So that was a victory. Um, overall, this game is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, you would be able to, to tell I was really into it by the fact I did eight episodes. But uh, to be honest, I'm kind of getting burned down on it because I've done so many runs. I've gotten way, so much time out of this game. Such a simplistic game, but yet so good. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, by the way, uh, if you're going to get a version, go for the DRM free version, uh, either on FTLgame.com where you can buy it directly from the developers. I'm sure they get the most uh, cut out of each sale that way, so if you want to really support them, go there. Um, you also get a Steam key uh, for that as well, uh, so if you want it on Steam, you also get, getting it through the developer site also gives you a Steam key. Um, if uh, Good Old Games is also a good place uh, to get this from, but they do not have a Linux version if you ever want to try playing on Linux. so. That's something you take into account. So I do recommend getting the, the copy off of uh, FTLgame.com. Normally I'd recommend Good Old Games, but Good Old Games doesn't really have uh, the Linux support as of yet. Uh, and I really hope they uh, they, they work onto that. So that, that's my because it's mostly DOSBox games they have as, as well. So it, it wouldn't really be a big deal for them to do that. And I'd be a huge fan of them if they did. Because uh, DRM sucks and you shouldn't have to deal with DRM, you know? Uh, support the developer. They, they, they treat you right, you know? You should treat them right. So, obviously I really like this game, uh, not doing any mods because as I said, I'm, I'm really burned out on this game now, I don't think I'm gonna touch it for a little while. If I ever do the mods, it'll probably be on a stream or something, I think I've covered this game pretty thoroughly. I've shown you every interesting ship of every variant except for the Kestrel because the Kestrel is boring, you know, whatever. Yeah, uh, one, definitely one of my favorite games of all time at this point. Uh, definitely makes the top 10 list because it's very addictive, very... High strategy. And look at that, 4200. Nice. Obviously I never played with the Mantis Type A. And so I had one ship that was actually better than this. Uh, so... Oh, okay, well, you know, I might as well tell you why I have this year, this year 2007. 
Um, I had a run prior to this. Uh, it didn't record. I just thought I wouldn't mention it. Uh, I didn't really use re I re use any of the same jokes except for the fact I re uh, named it the USS YouTube and uh, I forgot what year I put in. So <laughs> I did not expect actually expect that to to be here. I did win with it, uh, but as I said, the the run didn't record properly, so I d I didn't even think I'd mention it. Uh, but I guess I will now because now people are gonna look at this list and be, wait a sec, Mike, what were you doing here? And, and that's why. Um, it's worth, yeah. Uh, it just, I had fucking problems there. Uh, anyways, it was my own thing. Um, so, my top ships are this. Uh, the USS YouTube 2009 didn't make it. I don't even know why I have the years so different, but yeah. So, I certainly hope you enjoyed my run, uh, runs of this game, ep eight episodes. I think I've covered it very thoroughly, roughly about four parts each. So, you know what? It's good. Awesome game. Highly recommend it. I'll see you guys later.